How's it going, everyone? Liam Caniston here, and today we're going to be reacting to episode 2 of season 2 of Iron Fist, This City's Not For Burning. So, we had an interesting starting point with Iron Fist season 2. We kind of have um, a great pinpoint, I guess, to kind of dictate the paths of some of the characters throughout season 2. Uh, Ward's got his problems with um, his past, of course, his anger management, and Joy didn't... Uh, really help with, you know, her detachment to, to from Rand to, you know, side with Davos, of course. They've got that plan to basically burn Danny's world to ashes. Uh, we had Danny, uh, Colleen's a bit uh, about Danny, uh, but we had Danny, um, you know, keeping up to date with him, being the defender of New York. Um, Matt. Yeah. But no, uh, it was just really, really great to see how things, uh, you know, kind of escalate, especially with what's happened um, with the hand and how we have this power vacuum going on. But it was a fantastic start to season two of Iron Fist. I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, if, you know, the episodes do, you know, pick up steam from episode one. Like, will it be better? Hopefully it will, because it was a very, very fun start. So with that said, episode two, season two of Iron Fist, let's go. Ah, oh, damn it. Was this a was this a bit basically a bit of a trap? Oh, yeah, he's not gonna survive that. Oh, he's not gonna win that battle. Oh no! Son of a bitch. Yeah, that's gonna be very, very distressing. I mean he did have multiple stab wounds, but look at these it like basically, oh someone's on the floor! Nice. YouTube that later. No 911 calls. Like, I'm sure he was just staring. I'm ranting. But... Oh. I give you the wrong idea, but I live with my girlfriend. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I did not mean to offend. Oh, I should go. I'm sorry. You okay? Is she having those. That was just. She's <sighs> having her moments again. Wow. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa. Easy. Easy. I'm fine. Oh boy. No, you're not. Sometimes I get a little I get a little overwhelmed and why don't you come to my place? Come on. Get your That's out. her heart. Whenever she's having those moments, you, you hear that. She's obviously crushing. <laughs> she's only human. Aren't we all? Except me. Shouldn't have said that. I'm kidding. Oh, what's up with Mary? Mary, Mary. You might need to see a doctor. At least you changed the hair a bit. I gotta go. I'm running late. I thought you said you were scared. Yeah, I forgot married. about an appointment. Thank you both for everything. Yeah, uh, okay. She's an odd one. The yeah. personality just changed like... I think she means well. That fight we had, to see you would face Shao Lao. Feels like it never ended. Except Who do we see? He did win, but... I did. You know, you got that F1 talk. As, uh, I know it might be boring you, but some people are like, oh, this person's undeserving of a championship win and all that, so. The warriors remain unbeaten. Oh, wow, we're gonna. one shall be victorious. Spoiler Only alert. I know who it is. Shao Lao. Shao Lao. Die. I wonder who's gonna win. Oh yes, Danny it is. Begin! Damn, we're actually gonna see it! Awesome! Holy crap! Let's go! It got messed up. Mmm, they did. Didn't pull the trigger in time. Uh oh. You have a problem with me, I'm right here. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Let's talk. We got beef, right? So let's settle it. Works for me? Yeah, politely. All I was trying to do the other night was stop- Oh, come on! Politely! 
Like violence begets violence. Begets means makes, which you would know if you went to school for more than the shitty pizza. <laughs> Colleen, by the way. BB. BB. Like them little bullets. Oh. Yes. It's great that Colleen's trying. I mean, it all goes back to Colleen's um, objective of trying to help out, but without, you know, violence. My nephew was the driver of that armored car. Oof. And I'm sorry for your loss, but that doesn't change the situation. I Do have no choice in this uglier? matter. Blood for blood. No. That's not justice. That's escalation. Exactly. It's my right. Don't walk away from this. Oh. Oh sh. Oh. Danny hesitated there. Oh sh. Oh. Oh damn! And now the mask. Yeah, Danny hesitated there. I guess it's a fight to the death. I was going to say, Davos, oh my goodness, this is really, really incredible. Davos seems to have the upper hand in Oh, there we go. <laughs> you never let your guard down. I'm sorry. I'm not an asshole, boss. I promise. Just oh, we could just. I mean, he's, like I said... He's, he's got his issues. I have to graduate from Wharton to know that the outfit of Wharton just passed. passed. It's just my brother Warden. So you can't call me back, but what? Yeah, I'm gonna follow. Be nice, Warden. Say hello to Davos. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be interesting. Hello, Davos. <laughs> just how he just. Oh. I give it a week. <laughs> Before Miko will show us the other auction in three months. But we need it now. Tonight. Why tonight? I want world peace and marijuana legal mode 50 states. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> I want to go back to RTX London. Ooh. Don't even think about it. Our plan doesn't work without it. Noted. We are not. But that's going to cause some commotion. What can I show you next? Oh. Another glass of champagne would be nice. So, so I'm wondering <laughs> if that thing is the thing, you know, that they want to utilize to, I don't know, take the fist away from Danny. It wasn't a hit this morning, was it? It was a way to draw out leadership. You have to make him call it off. Oh. Make him. For, for Look, bigger. I don't attempt to understand the intricacies of your life. Purpose. I know that whatever responsibility you think you have to your husband, you have an equal one to this place and the people in it. We all do good in different ways, Mrs. Yang. I volunteer you. I'll even go with the doctor's, to friends to uh, doctor's come word. Sit down to the house. and talk. You know your pie gal. Have to get that out there. Your husband stood with us. Worse. Oh, he said no, hasn't he? Oh, it's just the look on her face looked dejected, like, oh boy. Go through of it. Sometimes we've got to get our hands dirty to get what we want. And this is dirty for you, so... Do you want to have the Iron Fist? Do it. <laughs> Snaps. She's like, why do I think he's actually going to snap her neck? <laughs> She's gonna snap her neck, isn't she? I don't know. Okay. Oh dearie. And we've got ourselves a scandal. I'm not running. I'm leading. But, uh, here we go. Here we lie. This is. Oh! Yeah, light sighted him. Oh shit! This is the thing, you gotta take your advantage when you can. Ooh! To the death, to the death, to the death, to the death. <laughs> Do it. Daniel Rundkai. Oh? 
will face the dragon. Oh! His heart has just been broken. Uh oh. Then I am honored to know you. Oh. Okay, okay. Oh sh! What did? He oh shit! He did! Oh shit! Oh! I thought he was gonna stab him. I think her hair has changed a bit. Color. It's a bit blonder. I think it's the lighting though. Um. More notes, and this time... Shit. Isn't it great that, you know, you put so much work into making peace and then it all falls apart because someone's a bit jealous, so yeah. To be fair though, you can't blame Davos really for reacting the way he did, for feeling that Danny was uh, it's unfair for Danny to have the Iron Fist because throughout this episode, with the flashbacks that we got with Danny reflecting on Davos's discussion from the first episode, um, we saw that Davos got pretty much the upper hand on Danny throughout the fight. I mean, there was moments where Danny was able to overcome uh, Davos and he used some creative means to bring down Davos at some point, and he was, of course, persistent. But Danny was absolutely, but Davos was absolutely on it. Like, I'd say the majority um, was like the favor was major uh, majority wise was in Davos's hands. So, yeah, I can't really blame Davos for you know uh, being a bit um, upset with the fact that Danny has the Iron Fist. And yeah, I mean that that that's what I got anyways. Like Davos was able to you know keep. You know, beating down Danny, of course. Uh, then again, we didn't see the majority of... The, well, I, I assume that fight went on for a very, very, very long time, to con contrary to what we got in the flashbacks, of course. Um, but I think the flashbacks told us something, that Davos had the upper hand throughout, and you have that sympathy for him to, uh, when he is, like, upset about the fact that he didn't get the... Uh, that he didn't get the chance to face the dragon... Um, over Danny, so yeah, you do sympathize with Davos a bit, and I mean, it's no surprise that the antagonist seems to have that um, sympathetic story behind him or her, him in this case, of course, and you just you just feel for him. So yeah, um, but still, it's a bitch, isn't it? You've got so much hard work done. In terms of, you know, keeping the peace between the hatchets and the tigers. And then here we are. So that's all well and good. Because once the hatchets, I think it is, yeah. Uh, once they find out that Mr. Yang is dead, then shit will hit the fan. And there will be rumours cropping around um, that, you know, this was the tigers. And yeah, I think that's how it goes. I think uh, Mr. Yang is uh, in control of the hatchets. But um yeah, at the end of the day, it was just really, really uh, poopy to, to um, you know, see all of that great work disintegrate because that's what's going to happen. Um, all so devils can get, so he can, you know, get that, well, I assume, but it's, you know, what they want. All for... Uh, all for him to get the fist, because I assume that Antique will be able to isolate the the power of the Iron Fist, of course, and then, you know, tr be able to be wielded onto uh, whoever, uh, which will be Davos in this case, of course. Uh, watch Joy with the surprise shoe in wields the fist. No, um, it, it will be very, very interesting to see how they, you know, do come around that, like, they're probably going to have to force Danny to give it up in some capacity, perhaps. But, you know, throughout this episode, we saw Danny reflect as if, was he right? Or, um, yeah, something around, along those lines. We saw him reflect on 
their fight. So, I mean, it could be, okay, you do deserve the fist, but I doubt that's going to happen since he's got a purpose and he's doing, you know, this defending of New York in honour of Matt as well. So, and plus, with the war about to reignite between the Hatchets and the Tigers, force might have to be, um, you know, utilised. So... Yeah, I doubt Danny's going to give it uh, give it up, so I assume there's going to be some force being implemented in order for Danny to, you know, have the fist, uh, the the Iron Fist transfer to Davos. So it'll be interesting to see that, uh, you know, that come around because, you know, I I do like I said that antique I assume is definitely a transference uh, uh, thing for the Iron Fist because of um, the fact. Uh, well, I was going to say. It's it's now looking more likely that, you know, the fist is going to swing into, you know, Davos's favour now that he's got the the sex tape and um you know, he's re reignited the war between the hatch well, not officially, but they're gonna find his body. So yeah. Um yeah, it was a really, really interesting story. I'm wanting to know what's going on with that Mary person because she is freaking me the hell out. Um now, I have a theory that, you know, she's the one taking... Because what's happening is, she's got, I, I assume she's got different personalities going on. Because she was in one personality one moment. Uh, we've seen that in a, a couple of times in this episode, where she's shifted from one personality to another. So I don't, it, it's not Hyde, because we've already gotten Hyde in the uh, Marvel Universe. Um, but, you know, she shifted from one personality to another... People are probably going to explain it in the co uh, comments, but I don't want that. Or if, you know, this season doesn't give a full answer, then yeah. But yeah, I assume this is based on a Marvel character. I can't put my finger on who it could be. But um, she has something going on with her. And I assume, you know, the pictures, the notes, it's all her, but in a different personality. Um, so, yeah, I'm assuming, like, I, I don't think it's down to, you know, someone else, um, say, uh, you know, working alongside her, I guess. It's all down to her personality, you know, and she, she can't, you know, snap into remembering, taking the pictures, writing down the notes, etc., etc. So, it's just going to be very, very interesting to see where her story leads, because she is a, you know interesting character and she's really captivating me so much um with you know her interesting story brewing up so i'm really really interested to find out more about mary so yeah interesting stuff there but yeah it was a really really great episode throughout like i said the fighting was absolutely br uh, beautiful to watch i got my wish in the end woo because i did say in the last episode i hope we do get to see their you know days back at kung Lung, um you know, explored a bit further, and lo and behold, we did. Um, of course, a pivotal event which Dan uh, Davos feels, um, you know, hurt about the fact that Danny got to face the dragon. We got to see how, you know, well, why Davos was upset with the fact that Danny was the chosen one, I guess, at the end of the day. Um, and his father screwing him over. Oof. Um, but yeah, the fighting was absolutely br uh, brilliant again. But it was just great to see the, uh, to see the tale of them to you know battle it out to face the dragon. Um, the whole idea of Colleen and Danny working on a civil way to keep the tigers and the hatchets, even though it's now gone down the drain, um, at peace was really really great. And not just that though, but with the with the kids as well that like Colleen confronted as well, like Colleen. Um, of course, they were wanting to kill Colleen, but, um, you know, she, she was trying to find that more peaceful way. She was trying to give a more, you know, um, beautiful way to, you know, keep things at bay. And it was a really, really nice scene. Uh, it was a really, really nice uh, sequence. Well, it was a, it was a multiple scenes, wasn't it? Yeah. Because one took place in the alleyway and one took place in their, like, little hideout. So it was really, really good. And I can see, you know, BB, you know, potentially playing more of an importance maybe later on in this uh, season. But it was really, really good to see, you know, a, uh, Danny and Colleen try to work a, a more civil approach to ending, like, little kerfuffles going on. So it was really, really good stuff. Um, like I said, the, the joy and Davos 
Scott's uh, part were really, really good as well. Like with them scheming on trying to take the fist from Danny uh, with that antique thing. Yeah. Um, and them going to desperate times. Like I said, you've got to get your hands dirty at times and Davos had to. Um, not something that, you know, he would be game for, but I mean, it's a lot safer than killing someone, isn't it? And then causing a huge ruckus and then, yeah. Um, that's what I'm saying. You gotta get your hands dirty at times. It, yeah, it was just really, really, um, scary as well to see just Joy, you know, really, really revel in this. All to see Danny's world turn to ashes. So, yeah, I have a feeling like if she, gets away unpunished by the by the end of season two there's going to be some like if she realizes what davos is doing uh like what like if davos is not the way to swing then there's going to be some major major setbacks in terms of her um stability i guess like she's going to be really really remorseful potentially who knows but you know, she, she had no problems. She, she was the one suggesting the idea of, uh, to Davos to, you know, create this scandal. And she clicks into the, I can't do it today. There we go. She clicks into the idea of, um, you know, being okay with taking Danny's power away from him. So, um, yeah, it was just really, really great stuff, uh, to see, you know, Davos and, um, Joy go desperate, ta uh, desperate lengths all to screw uh, over someone for a purpose they have no understanding of because they don't like that uh, person they were with has no i like i from what i know has no involvement with this whole fist switchy switcheroo thing in the mob that davos craves for so much so you do feel a bit for her but it was just really, really great overall as an episode. I just loved, um, you know, like I said, I think the highlight was definitely seeing, you know, why Davos was, is pretty upset with the fact that Danny, you know, got to face the dragon because you, you gotta see, you know, Davos take the upper hand. Even though we didn't see the full fight, of course, it, it, the sequences and, you know, seeing more of Davos beating down Danny gives you an idea that Davos was, screwed over uh gives you that sense of him being screwed over and you have that s kind of sympathy but i think danny's doing a pretty good job does everyone else yeah hey i bet davos couldn't pull off patty cake okay so um yeah it was a really really good episode season two is just shaping up to be really really interesting stuff and impressive um you know epi uh, like the two episodes i've seen have been really really impressive and i'm really enjoying it um, getting to explore Davos's character a bit further and, you know, having some kind of sympathy with him. But it, yeah, overall, it's just been a really, really good two episodes. Um, and I've just been enjoying everything about it. So good stuff from season two thus far. But yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out all my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care. And I will see you guys next time. Toodles!